Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. I'm super excited because I do have another video featuring a very new launch from Merit. It is their signature lightweight lipstick that just launched on February 22nd, which I'm super, super excited for. So Merit was very kind and they gifted me two shades. I have the shade Cabo and Millennial. Cabo is kind of this brick red and then Millennial is like a soft kind of pink and I thought that would be really great for spring. I did go on their website when they first launched and picked up a couple others to add because I was just so excited. And as you know, I've really loved everything that I've tried from the brand so far. There really hasn't been anything that's disappointed me to the point where I wasn't going to use it anymore. I actually use them on the daily. There's at least one or two Merit products that I incorporate into my daily makeup routine. I also have another video trying on a full face of Merit. So if you want to see kind of what their other products look like, definitely check out those videos. What I really like about the brand is that they're very much for, I feel like, someone who's a little bit more established in their career or maybe in their life, you're a little bit more mature, but you're also wanting products that are gonna stand the test of time. Their packaging is very chic and elevated, feels very sophisticated, but also kind of luxurious and expensive looking, even though the price point isn't like a Tom Ford or a Charlotte Tilbury price, because they perform amazingly. So today's video, I'm gonna go through all the lipsticks that I have from them. You can see I've got quite a few here. There's only one shade that I'm missing, which is fashion, and it's like a deep berry. I'm gonna do swatches for you and also try them on the lips. I'm so, so excited. I feel like I'm really gonna love this lipstick, and now that we are starting to feel like the world is transitioning to a bit of a more normal way of life, um, in terms of not having to wear masks and restrictions, I think wearing lipsticks and lipsticks in general are going to be a pretty big product that brands are going to start to come out with. I'm already seeing lots of lipsticks get launched, so this is just really awesome that they came out with a new lipstick. I do have their Shade Slick, which is like a glossy lip product, so I have two here. I have the shade Meta Catch, and then I also have the shade Sangria. And these are both really nice tones. I have a warm tone and a cool tone. And I also will pair these on whatever lipstick I think is appropriate. So you can kind of see how to zhuzh it up and make it a little bit more glossy if that's something you're into. I will say that these lipsticks retail for 34 Canadian dollars and you can find them on the Sephora website or also on the Merit website. Merit has been super kind and given me an affiliate code that I can use which just means I get a small percentage of the sale if you are to use that code. You're obviously not obligated at all but it does really really help me out so I can continue to make more amazing content for you and I would honestly really appreciate it if you did use it. If not, don't worry about it at all. So let's just dive into them. I'm gonna go through the different shades they have. They also have some awesome sets that you can buy if you're wanting to try out a few more products from the brand or more lipstick colors. So I've got them here in order from the way the website has them listed. So we'll just start at the lightest shade and work our way up. I'm wearing the shade Slip right now. You can see this is the color. It's super, super gorgeous. And it they definitely look a lot more bold in the bullet than they do on the lip. So I'm just gonna apply another layer for you to see. The next shade that we have is Millennial. So this is one of the shades that was gifted to me. It's a beautiful, soft, kind of rosy pink. I think this is actually defined as a classic pink. Oh wow, I think this is literally my lip color. I'm gonna show you it, like, well, my lip color if it was like perfectly evenly pigmented. Oh my goodness, I like this one so much. Okay, I'm gonna apply another layer. 
So far I like this one more than Slip, but I think that's because it is very close to my natural lip color. It's still got some vibrancy to it, but it's not too intense. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but totally brought my blazer game to this video um, because I really had a feeling that these are lipsticks that are gonna sit on my vanity, a couple in my purse, and then probably a couple on my desk so that before I have any impromptu Zoom calls or meetings, I can literally just swipe some on and feel a little bit more put together, a little bit more boss-like and serious. But yeah, I think I love this vibe. It looks so good with a like neutral, kind of natural but elevated look. And like, can we just talk about this gorgeous, gorgeous packaging? I love this kind of like brownie orange shade with the gold and it just feels super, super luxurious. This does remind me of the Dior like lip glow ones where they have the top that pops out. So you see part of the bullet at the bottom and then you've got this nice square shape to the lip which actually makes it really easy to find in your purse if you're looking for something and you're kind of one of those people that has like a, a deeper purse and you just dig through it till you find what you're looking for. Because the shape is so unique and it's not like your typical bullet, to find this in my purse is a lot harder than to look for this kind of shape because the shape is just something you can grab on and find very easily. The next shade we have is Baby, which is another pink, but I think this is a more neutral tone pink. So I will show you this right here is Millennial and then this is Baby. You can see the two differences. This is definitely more neutral, a little bit more cool tone, and this is a very much more warm. Okay, at first I thought they looked very, very similar, but I can definitely see a difference. This is a lot softer and not so much in your face. Definitely a more muted pink. Okay, now we take a big jump in color. We're going into the shade Cabo, which is the other shade that I was gifted from Merit. Now this one is so beautiful in the bullet. I love the orange with the gold. This just screamed fall to me, but also I was thinking like hot girl summer. So I think Cabo obviously is the perfect shade for this or the perfect name shade for this. It's definitely giving me nice Mexican summer vibes and makes me want to go on vacation so, so badly. So let's apply this to the lip. You guys know I love an orange like this. Oh my gosh. I can say I'm being a little bit more cautious with this one because it's a little bit more bold. Okay, this is giving me Picante blush vibes from Nude Sticks. If you saw that blush that Elena Davison created, I think this lip would be perfect with that cheek. Um, that would be a perfect pairing, just like what I was imagining. Nice glitzy eye, wing liner, some pop in orange blush, and this lip with some bronzer. And I think you're set for the summer. <laughs> These lipsticks are very, very exciting. They're very nice. I think they're very well done. Okay, let's move on because I want to just stay in this lipstick all day. The next shade we're gonna go into is the shade Lavenu. Oh wow, this is a lot more deeper than I expected. Hmm, okay, let's give it a try. I guess again, that's the thing. These look a lot more intense in the bullet. And I do have to say these are applying very evenly. I'm not seeing any patchiness. And I think that's because the formula is so emollient and creamy that it's easy to glide on and not streak. I'm gonna do one more layer. This is definitely more, I feel like, a fall color. I don't know that I like the tone as much. I think so far, out of all the shades I've tried, this one I might like the least if I had to pick one. We still have two more to go. I do think the shade Slick in Sangria is a nice match for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on top so you can see what the two look like.
these two together are definitely made for each other. So Sangria with Lavanu, definitely a pair. It looks really, really good. And I don't know if I mentioned, but they do have a couple sets that you can get. So there is the Lip Duo set that you can get on the Merit website where it retails for 58 Canadian dollars discounted from 65 and you can pick um, your favorite signature lip shade and also your favorite shade slick to put together and you can try both of their formulas in conjunction with each other or on their own. I definitely think in terms of pairing, this is a great one. Now, while we're talking about their sets, they have the Merit Signature Set. So you get this little carton here and it does save on their traditional packaging. This is what the lipsticks come in on their own, this lovely blue packaging. I actually picked up their Signature Set where you get four lipsticks and it retails for 96 Canadian dollars and that's discounted from $133. So one lipstick is 34 Canadian dollars. So you're actually getting a full lipstick for free, which I think is incredible. Plus you're saving a little bit extra on that and you get the shades Baby, Tiger, Lavenu and Slip. And it just comes in here and you get to try four of their new lipsticks. I think that's pretty awesome. It is unfortunately sold out, but I'm sure they will be bringing it back and you might be able to be notified when they do have them in stock. If you do love these types of videos where I go through a bunch of different lipsticks and swatches, please give this video a big like, subscribe and ring the bell. It would help me out so, so much and I'd really, really appreciate it. Let's get into the last two colors. So we have Tiger left, and then we also have the shade 1990. I don't know if I mentioned, but they did come out with eight shades. I have seven of the eight. The only shade I don't have is Fashion, which is a deep berry. And I kind of stayed away from it because typically those tones don't look good on me, but I may have to get it because these are a lot more of a lighter impactful color than what I normally would expect. I think they're very flattering no matter your skin tone because you can make them a little bit more sheer and have them be a lighter wash of color. Typically when things are so vibrant, they don't always look so good on me. So this is a shade I would normally kind of stay away from, but I think with this formula, you could wear any shade, even their most dark, if you're super pale, and it would look very nice, very flattering. Okay, let's put Tiger on. This is the bullet here. This looks like it's a little bit more warm toned and a little bit more orangey, so I probably will like this a little bit more than Lavenu. Now I put these in order about the way the website has them listed out, but I do think that Tiger should switch spots with Lavenu because it's definitely a lot lighter. I actually think this would look really good with the shade Marrakech in the shade slick, so I will try that out. Oh yeah, I really, really like this. This is a lot more muted than Cabo, but this is the kind of orange I would definitely be drawn to, to wear like on the daily, in the fall, also in the spring. I'm gonna go ahead and put Marrakech on because I think this will be a better pairing than Cabo. Mm -hmm. Look at that. These two, again, made for each other. I love that. It feels so, so good on the lips, especially together. I love it. You can definitely tell how much I like a lipstick because I start to dance around a bit and feel very cutesy. I don't know, like it's gonna be really hard to actually pick a favorite at the end. I loved Millennial. I really liked Cabo, but I also liked Tiger. So we're gonna skip over fashion because I do not have that lipstick here and go to the very last one, which is 1990. And funny story, I was born in 1990. So now you know how old I am. Yay, you found out that little tidbit of information. And I obviously had to get it because it is my birth year. Hmm. Definitely a 1990s vibe, yes. This is very appropriately named. I actually don't think it's my favorite though. I was kind of hoping it would be because I'd be like, we're sharing another connection, but 
It's not. But it does look really good with this look. I definitely think this is something you could pair with a more warm goldy tone eye to kind of counteract the coolness of the lips. So yeah, I think we've reached the end. I've inserted some arm swatches for you to also see how they look here. All right, let's get into these swatches. I will apply them here on my arm for you to see. We're gonna go into the shade slip. The shade Millennial, the shade Baby, the shade Cabo, Lavenu, Tiger, 1990. I do want to mention that my lip color may not be the same as yours. We all have different shades, so the way these lipsticks look on my lips might look slightly different on yours. I just kind of want to give that disclaimer because I knew when I was new to makeup, I would see someone apply lipstick and it would look really good on them and then I would buy it and it wouldn't look as nicely. Keep in mind also your skin undertones. I do typically lean a little bit more on the yellow side and warm tone. So warm tones typically look a lot better on me. So like oranges, warm pinks, those kinds of things. This shade's a little bit more on the cool tone, which is why I think I'm just not clicking with it as much as I would like. I'm gonna change it and put on my favorite. So take a second and leave your comment down below, pause this video, let me know what you think my favorite lip shade is gonna be. If you picked Millennial, you totally nailed it and you got it right. So I'm gonna go with Millennial as my favorite, but Cabo is a very, very close second. It's just because I'm feeling a lot more springy today. And I want to put on something a little bit more pink, but I can tell you that Cabo is going to be on my lips all summer long. So you're probably going to get sick of it, but honestly, I just think it is so stunning. I hope you guys get the chance to try them and keep them on your radar because these are lipsticks that I think are definitely worth it, especially for going into the summer, into patio season, and... I mean, I just skip spring, but like if you live in Canada, you pretty much go from winter to summer anyway. So that's why I thought that. <laughs> All right, I guess that's it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a lot of fun playing with these lipsticks. I am very excited for the launch. Congratulations, Merit. I think you guys knocked it out of the park. I'm in love with these. Let me know if you're going to be checking them out in the comments down below. I will see you guys in my next one. I love you so much. Bye.